Chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about this controversial medication tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that on tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. So Donald Trump, it's been revealed, has been taking this medication. So, uh, you know, there's, there's sort of like, um, what's this word? You know, practicing what you preach, so to speak. Um, th there's been a tremendous war against this medication going on during this crisis. Because one of the odd things that came out of the um, whole COVID crisis is that people, um, I don't know who was the first to discover it, but they discovered that this medication, hydroxychloroquine, was very effective against COVID-19 and obviously it was almost like 95% effective and it would cure it within a couple a day 24 hours in some cases 72 hours in other cases it would turn people around they would go from being on the ICU or heading towards like a ventilator and by the way the ventilator kills about 80 percent of people or 60 percent of people ladies and gentlemen so if you end up on a, a ventilator you've got like a one in four chance of living rather than you know so rather than maybe with hydroxychloroquine seems like you've got like a 95 percent chance of living so this is what the, the media has been telling you they've been wanting to put you on a ventilator which is probably going to kill you and they don't want you to take hydro hydroxychloroquine because that's going to kill you if that doesn't tell you something fucking suspicious is going on there was this giant article in the abc that's australia's abc not american abc that went on about the, you know, like, oh, it's untested. It didn't say it was dangerous, it just said it was untested. Now, you know, I actually shot a film over in uh, Uganda with Ebony uh, Atlanta Butler, and I took along um, hydroxychloroquine, as because obviously they have um, malaria in Uganda. So I took it for about four weeks, and, you know, it is a strong drug. Like, you can feel it. It's like a strong antibiotic, right? So you can feel it in your system, and it's not something you, you do uh, as a joke. Like, you have to be in reasonably strong health to take it, you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're in a malaria area, that's what you want to be taking because it'll stop you from getting malaria if a mosquito happens to bite you, and a few fucking did, I'll tell you that right right now. It's much better than getting malaria. So, you know, I mean, and the fact that this works in relation to COVID, it's incredible that there's this huge reaction against it when there's so much anecdotal evidence over and over and over again people have been saying that this works that this is a great therapeutic um medication in relation to COVID-19 it's just incredible the kind of war on media and it's all because Donald Trump seems to have recommended it early on but I mean isn't that his job I mean he obviously he's somebody in a position of power he finds a medication that seems to be effective so he recommends it to people um you know I mean good on him you know what I mean and not only that, he takes it himself. And he hasn't come down with it. And obviously, apparently, when Boris Johnson got sick, he sent over a quick, you know, American plane. He flew in some hydroxychloroquine for him. So, and that's how, and that's the reason, um, you know, Boris Johnson got better. So, look, you know, this mainstream media on this topic, you've just got to ignore it. Um, my recommendation is you probably don't take it as a as a precaution, um, because obviously, in many of our countries now, COVID is very, very rare. You know, particularly in Australia at the moment. I mean, there are like one or two new cases every, every day or something. There's hardly anyone left with the disease in the whole fucking country, so you're going to be very unlucky to get it. Um, so, I don't recommend taking in as a precaution in Australia but if you do get it if you do end up where you're heading into hospital and you have the symptoms you know I mean you're not asymptomatic you're one of the unfortunate people who are getting quite sick from it I recommend taking chloroquine to see how you go it can't do any fucking harm and it's, and it's got a much better survival rate than getting on a ventilator which has at least a 60 80 percent death rate so you know this is a very interesting topic and you know just goes to show that the media is in league with you know these nefarious forces that that, that want to kill you off with this fucking thing so you know um, I recommend I recommend you, you know, listen to in the media in relation to chloroquine and places like this, the report from Tiger Mountain. And, you know, if you need it to save your life, take it. And that's the report.